So in this video we are going to calculate the Kronbach's alpha, but in a situation where um, we want to delete some items from the test. So what we need to do to get this is in essence calculate the total test variance uh, without the scores of the items that we want to, to delete and we have to calculate the, um, the item variances. So this uh, we have seen before, we have the um, unweighted sum scores of the items, but this is for all the items. And let's say that for now we want to delete item three and four. So we're going to uh, recalculate the, the, the sum scores and we're gonna do that based uh, only on item one and two. So we're gonna delete three and four. So we have to add the sum function for item one and two and do that for all the item for all the answers that are given. So, uh, if we do that, we need to calculate the variance of that new sum score, and we have to add up all the variance of the items that we use for this test. So there's only these two, item one and item two, and we have to calculate the variance of the unweighted sum scores for the new set of items that we used. So we can expand this one again and there we have our variance for the sums for the total score. And now let's see what we have to do. So we have to sum that first part uh, and divide it by the total test variance. So this in essence is the proportion of um, um, variance uh, that's uh, not shared. So we're going to add these, yes, item one and item two, and uh, we have to divide that by um, the total variance that there is, that was two, let's see again, yep, we summed that, and we have to divide it by the total variance of the test, so divide that one with the total variance of the test, and here is our proportion. Um, so what is left to do, we have to have the number of items that we use in the test, n, and uh, we have only two items that we used. So let's see if we can do this in one go. So we have um, two items divided by, what is that again, n minus one, yeah, uh, divided by uh, parentheses two minus one, and we have to multiply that by um, one minus the proportion of, uh, of the variance. So here we multiply this by one minus that proportion, and that will give us the Kronbach's alpha when we delete it two of those items, item three and item four.